Hello, and today we're going to be looking at editing multi-line commands in Z Shell through your editor. What does that mean? Okay, first off, we need to enable some things. So if you're using Z Shell, you're going to edit your uh, Z Shell RC file. You're going to add these things. You're going to add export editor, all capitalized, equals, and whatever editor you like, whether it's Vim or Nano. For me, I'm using NeoVim, so I have NVim in there. And that will just set whatever your default editor is while you're in your shell. Next, we're going to say autoload dash capital U edit command line. I will have a link in the description, so you can just copy and paste this into your RC file. Then we're going to enable the Z shell line edit module with the capital dash N edit command line. And then we're going to bind some keys. Uh, basically, I've done two things here. You can do control X E or control X control E. I just do that so whatever feels more comfortable to you. Once that's enabled and you restart your shell, if you have a multi-line command like this, so I copied and pasted this from my browser's developers tab. Basically, it's just going to download my website. A lot more information here than needed uh, using curl. So let's say I want to trim this up some. I, I could come in here and I could edit this line like, oh, I don't need this. I can go like this and erase this whole line. But it'd be a lot easier if I could edit this in my preferred editor in this case, NeoVim. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Control X E and it opens it up in my default editor, in this case, NeoVim. And then in here I can go, well, I don't need this, I don't need this, I don't need this, I don't need this, or this, or this. And then I can come in here, I can say, okay, I want a different user agent, I can type whatever I want. And then whenever I save and exit out of my editor, it replaces that command on the shell here. So we're all good to go. I can hit enter and it downloads the code from my page. Uh, but that's it. You add this stuff to your Z shell RC file. And once you restart it, any any command you have, whatever you're typing, you hit it control X, control E, and it opens it up in your editor. And again, you can modify stuff in here. And when you save and quit, it will load it to your shell, all the lines. So if you have a multi-line command, that is a very convenient way to edit it. So again, uh, check out link in the description. I'll put this on the webpage there so you can copy and paste it and modify it if you'd like. Uh, that way you don't have to type it all out. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. As always, I hope that you have a great day.